this is Charlie Montatiello with another video on playing a Native American flute. This video is kind of a remake of one that we've made in the past. It was a little on the dark side. Hopefully we've got all of the light side here ready for you this time. So um, this video is on how to play our four-hole whistle that we make. It's a traditional Cherokee four-hole whistle and musical instrument. Been around for a while. Uh, been made very similar for a long, 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 long time. And um, I'd like to show you a little comparison contrast between it and the traditional four-hole flute. So the four-hole flute, obviously very similar in make, but one thing I'd like you to notice is the distance between the mouthpiece, or the sound hole here rather, and the first hole versus the distance between the last hole and the end of the flute. It's kind of a reoccurring motif. You've got basically half the distance here that you do up here. And uh, likewise, on the four-hole whistle, it's basically the same. You've got a short distance right here and a long distance up there. It, uh, it's how the flute's made to play correctly. And I wanted to give you, a, you know, since we're going to be remaking this video, I wanted to give you a little bit better uh, description of how it is that you play this guy because it's so simple. I mean, I sit and play this thing all the time. I love it. Um, first thing you want to do is cover all the holes. And as you cover all the holes, as we know with all other flute uh, analogies that I've made, that that's going to be the lowest note. So, and play soft when you cover those holes. The lowest note is usually the hardest to achieve for most people um, when you're playing. A lot of people try to blow too fast, and that's where the flute actually is, is good therapy for those that need to learn how to control their breath. So breathe through your nose, and then uh, exhale through the flute, the lowest note, all holes covered. And then uncover the bottom hole. The bottom hole being this is the top and that is the bottom. So uncover the bottom hole, that's the next note in the scale. And then uncover the next hole. And that is a minor pentatonic scale. And a lot of you that are flute players think, well, that's not right. We're missing a note. Well, that's actually five notes right there. So that's it. The next note in the scale is the octave of the bottom note. So it's a duplicate of the bottom note, but it's one octave up. So that's where you cover all the holes on this four hole flute and blow fast. So it's the same as the bottom note, but you're blowing fast. And uh, so that's your basically your five notes plus your octave of the bottom note, something everybody's familiar with. I'll go ahead and play it in scale format here so that you can get a better idea of how you know this flute's played. Now, all of my four-hole flutes and four-hole whistles have two other notes, and for several really good reasons. So I'll show you how to play them one at a time, starting from the bottom note all the way to the top, and then we'll go from the next to the next. So uncover all the notes one at a time from bottom to top, cover it up for the octave of the bottom note, uncover the next hole, continue blowing fast like you did with the octave of the bottom note, then uncover the next hole and continue blowing fast. So one more time. So that's it. Um, the next thing is a little more of an advanced technique, and you know we've never really talked about what key this thing's in, and I don't want to ever tune these to keys. So hopefully nobody ever asks me to, and convinces me it's a good idea. Um, having said that, I would like to let you know, although we've been playing a minor pentatonic scale, you can play these things chromatically. This is how you play a major scale on this whistle, and. I don't know which major scale. I'm not even going to look at my tuner to find out. It doesn't matter to me. But nevertheless, you can play Yankee Doodle and 
Mary Had a Little Lamb and that kind of thing on it if you learn how to play the alternate fingerings and the major scale. So what I'm going to show you to play the major scale, which is not, you know, most Native American music doesn't incorporate a lot of that, you keep your finger off this bottom hole. The first note is actually the top three holes covered. And then you uncover this hole. And then you uncover that and cover the, uncover the second hole and cover this third hole. So one more time. Is the bottom hole uncovered? Then uncover the bottom two holes. And cover the second, excuse me, the third hole. That's one, two, three. Cover the third hole, uncover the second hole. Then uncover the bottom three holes. Then cover up the third hole and uncover the top hole. And then cover all the holes and blow fast. Keep blowing fast and uncover the bottom hole. And then this next one plays a little differently depending on which whistle you got. If it's a little bit too small or a little bit too big, it, you know, kind of will require you to do a little kind of manipulating with your finger. The last note is mostly uncover the second hole. So, let me hold on. I'm sorry, the second hole from the bottom, third hole from the top. So, mostly uncover it. So one more time. So a lot you can do there. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy this. The four hole flute plays almost identically to this guy here. Is that identically a word? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, very similar. I'll play it real quick for you. Might give you a better idea of the fingerings. So, the minor pentatonic scale, all Native American flutes and most Native American musical instruments can achieve. scale on this guy, very same, you know, as the, as the four-hole Cherokee whistle. Let's see. So one more, one more time. that's it. So something I know probably a lot of you are going to ask me about these four hole flutes. I haven't put them on our website yet. I may in the near future. I'm still contemplating. Um, but uh, very beautiful sounding flute. The way that they've been made for about 4,000 years that we know of. This guy here is way cool. And uh, my four hole Cherokee whistle. Also one of my favorite flutes I've ever played. These guys here are hard for me to put down. And after playing the flute for about 26 years <laughs> at this point, of course, next year we'll have to remake this video and make it 27 years, but uh, anyway, a little joke. Um, after playing the flute for so long, um, there's just something about these guys that make it difficult for me to put them down. I don't like tuning them to keys. I believe this one here, just for my ear, is probably a B. Um, it could be a little sharp or flat of that, but that's probably about right. I play it with my six-hole flute that's an A a lot, and, uh, you know, it's... Uh, really an amazing instrument and once again a piece of history so thanks again for watching me i hope you guys haven't minded the sounds of the cars around we've been 
making this video in the park in the city. I thought I would give you guys a little bit different something to look at. But thanks so much again. If you have any questions, bluebearflukes.com. You can find a contact form on there. Also send us a message on our YouTube or Facebook page, which is, uh, of course, facebook.com forward slash bluebeararts. Thank you guys very much. Don't forget our CD is available now. You can find a link from our website to purchase. The MP3 version is only $7.99. Uh, physical CD is $12.99. And, of course, uh, we appreciate you all for watching our videos. Take care, and thanks again.